for all you gingers out there. We have a beer for you tonight. Hophead Red by Green Flash Brewing Company. Chicken! What up guys, it's the beer has gone bad. The beer flows like one. We are your hosts tonight, I'm Patrick Tugin. I'm Scott Van Book. And together we form The Beer's Gone Bad. Just gonna point out really quick, that's wearing a hat tonight. I'm proud of that. I am wearing a hat. It's a new addition to my lifestyle. I'm going with it. Tonight, we're going back to Green Flash. The reason <laughs> for this was today at work, we were visited by Lisa Hinckley, co-owner and founder of Green Flash Brewery. Apparently she's in our neighborhood, she's a local. And she was rather nice. She was awesome, actually, yeah. She came in and, uh, and introduced us. She saw a little article we had in the paper. And um, she's like, is this you? And I was like, yeah, that's me. And that's Scott. And here we are. And she's like, yeah, I'll have to swing by some, some beers sometime. And um, she came yeah. by later that day, yeah, with, uh, with the, the Green Flash Imperial IPA. And then here, the Hophead Red by Green Flash. The cool thing about them is they were both bottled last week. So we got fresh, fresh beer here I'm pretty excited about. And we're working through the Imperial as we speak. And uh, I finished mine. Scott's still nursing his. But you know what? It's good times, man. That is uh, that is some good beer. That's where we're at. So, Pat, you want to lead us into this? Yeah, one? let's get into this one here. So, uh, Green Flash Brewery, for anybody who doesn't know, is a San Diego-based brewery. They just recently relocated, according to their pamphlet that Lisa dropped off, to a huge facility making them one of San Diego's largest brewers. Um, the team consists of many new brewers. We have here, in the brew family, it's Lisa, I'm assuming her husband, Mike, and their head brewmaster is Mike, and then another guy, Tim Silvia, or Silva, I'm sorry, brewmaster Chuck, uh, Chuck Silva to the team. So between those three, they run that brewery over there, and I'm sure everybody else puts in you know, their hard work and good times. They're really pushing the limits of what, uh, what the San Diego IPAs and just the San Diego beers in general are doing. They, they're all about pushing and trying new things and being creative, and you know, I respect them. I've, I've not had a bad beer. No, and I actually heard something, too, that their costs have gone up for brewing beer. Uh, but they froze the price. Yeah, I read somewhere that I, I'm pretty sure it was Green Flash that the the cost for them to manufacture it has gone up. But they said that they're going to freeze the prices for a year to two years to allow that their dis uh, distributors and their customers to enjoy the same beer at the price that they're used to. Tonight we're drinking Hophead Red. Resinous hop characteristics emerge from an enormous hopping with Columbus, Nugget, Amarillo overtaking the rich caramel malt base. Add to the luscious hop flavors and enticing floral hop aromas, we dry, uh, dry hop the brew with bucket loads of Amarillo. Welcome to the world of red IPAs. ABV $7. Price, <laughs> I'm assuming in that same price range. 7%. What did I say? ABV seven dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ABV seven percent. Price similar. Um, Color one, but light ten Rasputin. Three and a half. Four. I'm gonna put it a little darker. I'm gonna probably put about a four and a half, just because it's got a really dark red color, but it's very clear. It is very clear. Oh, I'll go over. The, I'll go with the four. It's got a nice head to it. Let's get it right in. Oh man, it smells good. So this one, I know what's going on here. So go ahead, give it a go. So you got that hoppy flavor right there. Yeah, it's With, not too overwhelming though. I know I just read it off there, but you can taste the multi base on there because it's got like, I don't even want to use that word, but it, it's got a very, hey, I'm trying to think of the, the beer that's reminding me of it the, at the the base of it. Because you get the hoppy, the hoppy flavor. It's nice to know that it says they dry hop it with bucket loads of Amarillo, so I'm understanding what Amarillo tastes like on this. It tastes amazing, I can tell you that. I'm gonna log this one in my brain bank. It's a goddamn good beer right there. That is a good beer. The malt flavor is <coughs> giving that, that, you know, obviously you have, I mean, like their Imperial is extremely, extremely hoppy beer. I mean, we, we refer to it as liquid marijuana in a sense. It had that very, like, intense weedy, or I refer to it that way, a very weedy flavor to it. And this one is very hoppy. You still get that very hop, like, I think you're getting. It smells it. not there, but like. You're getting it more on the aftertaste on this beer. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's not like that upfront like. Pop. No, it's a lot smoother right off right off the get go. It's a really smooth beer, really yeah. easy to drink, and then you have that little bit more of a, like a drier, bitter aftertaste. 
so if you like your hops and you like a hoppy beer, you're not going to be let down with this beer, but it's not going to come right out at you. And definitely when you're drinking it and you're smelling it and your nose is buried in that glass, you're getting some of those sweeter undertones that are in there. I'm getting that malty kind of metallic aftertaste <coughs> a little bit on this thing. And it's not a bad flavor, it's just, I, I think it's the malt flavor that's doing that for me. That's what I'm picking up on, the, on my aftertaste. And I may just have my taste buds be effed up by that Imperial that I just ran, because that thing is just like, hop nation. Do you smell... Do, I'm, I'm, I'm associating metallic with that multi flavor right now for some reason. Do you smell... Well, I mean, what are you tasting? Like, right off the bat, it's really smooth. Almost a little like when you smell it, it smells sweet. You know when they say that it does, it smells caramel, very sweet. You can really you can really pick that out. But, but then as soon as you take that sip, you start to get that that sweetness kind of subsides, and, and you get a little bit more of that tartness, that that bitterness, and it, it does kind of kind of like it sits in the back of your mouth, like your taste buds, like back there. And I get where you're saying metallic, but when you when I think metallic, I think of pennies. And that's like, it doesn't taste like sucking on a penny to me. It doesn't either to me, dude, but there's just like that very last, like when you swallow it, that very last like sensation I'm getting is kind of a metallic sensation. Okay, I get it. Well, where are you going to put this thing, Pat? It's got a nice color to it. The head's really nice. The lacing is pretty good. I, you know, I don't really know what the lacing refers to as a beer. I'm just going from what JC <laughs> told me. I don't know. I'm just cutting terms out here. Um, I like this beer, but I don't, you know... If I was going to go back and buy a Green Flash, I think I'd probably stick with the Imperial. I enjoy that beer much more. Um, much more if I'm going to go for a hoppy beer. This is still super hoppy, but I'm going to put it in probably like... I'm going to put it in probably like in like a five and a half range for me. Really? I do. But by all means, I like it. It's a great beer. I just... I have other ones that I would probably go over this one first. Wow. It's not bad. Like, don't take me wrong. It's not a bad beer at all. I just well, like you the multi-characteristics of it. You wouldn't buy it again. Oh, I'd buy it again, of course, but I'm just saying, like, if I had the choice between this, their Imperial, and maybe, like, you know... I think it's a well-done beer, though. I mean, yeah, if you're gonna... If we're that's, gonna... that's my that's my stand. I, it's not a bad beer, it's just not necessarily what I'm looking for when I'm thinking of a big hoppy beer. I'd, I'd probably grab their Imperial instead. Yeah, I probably I probably wouldn't, wouldn't go down the road of a red beer right off the bat if I was looking for something that was really hoppy. Um, although it was a red Indian pale ale. Uh, that is I, smooth, though. I liked it, dude. I thought it was a really good beer. I thought it was kind of a nice change, and and from some of those like overhop beers. Do you mean? Do you have your Imperial right there next to you? Can I try that with this? Yeah. Give me a number while I'm doing this. I'm giving you. I'm gonna give it a seven. I thought it was a really good beer. That was really well done. Damn, dude, that thing. When you drink that, and I'll drink that afterwards. That Imperial. <laughs> that is night and day. Oh yeah, totally. Woo! Totally. I take that back. I'm going to put this at a six. Actually, this is a very smooth drink. That thing is intense. I like this beer, too. I, I do, like, too. That's their Imperial IPA, and I like a really hoppy beer, and I like that bitterness. But I just don't think that's what they were going for with this beer. So what are you going to give it? What's the number? I gave it a seven. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm going re to renege on what I said, and I'm going to give it a six, actually. Okay. Um, you guys, this is the beer's gone bad. You know, also, too, if we review a beer and it's your favorite beer, let us know. Do your own review. Send it to us. Whether it's a video, whether it's written, let us know what you think about this beer. Totally. So get out there, try it, let us know what you think. Um, you can follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Flickr. We're out there. Yeah, you know, we're, we're really interested in the whole craft beer movement. So we're going to do our best to find new and innovative stuff that's on the market and try to show it to you as we learn about the beers ourselves. So you know what? Thanks for checking in. It's the Beer's Gone Bad. Where the beer flows like wine. We'll see you next time. Remember, keep it craft. <laughs>